Okay, so before I put back my motor on the tape drive, there is one other thing we need to do uh, because I am modifying the tapes is we have to change the value of that resistor uh, that would be the 600 ohm resistor here you have to add a 1.8 kilo ohm resistor in parallel that would be this little guy with this colors brown, white, uh, red so over here is going to be an interesting camera effort uh, I think you can get it and a little bit more solder so it's probably oxidized from the days effect enough there you go that's not perfect enough for me and then I'm going to do a nice bit of solder there you go so uh, motor is back in, the sensor is back in, the plug is back in and what was causing me trouble over here is this uh, cap stand was too high actually don't uh, making it 3 millimeter higher is way too much I'm starting to believe that 1 millimeter is uh, more than enough um, and uh, so don't believe what you read on the internet um, okay somebody has to try it wrong so others can do it right so let's see this is my DC tape and if I do that that would go better this is my DC 2000 the quick the quick 40 tape right and let's see yeah beautiful I don't know if you can see it but it gets it perfectly smack in the middle and so let's see also if Still does the other tape and it should right because this is just bigger right so yes yeah, so the other tape has of course no problem it just I don't know if you can see where the contact is uh, difficultly yeah you see it right here right this is fine it just contacts it where it used before so um, I can now hopefully read the original tapes which don't work and the, uh, manu the, 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 the recent uh, 3M quick tapes or DC 2000s which work. There you go. Well, we'll see if that works in a second.